Good afternoon. Welcome to West Sedona's Saddle Rock Home on Tour. It's a rainy day, so we're going to take a, a walk through a home that absolutely sparkles even in the rain. And I'm going to take today's view of the bedroom. We're walking in now to probably one of the most romantic bedrooms in Sedona. I will start over here with my beautiful antique black ebony Buddha altar and crowned by my angel from San Miguel and my white dragonfly. I know that these things do not go with the house so you will have to know that I just have a passion for decorating. So this was one of my most special wonderful places to get to do that wonderful fireplace that's just you know gas or can be converted into wood if you want to do the wood thing oh i'm going to scan really quickly outside the window so you can see coffee pot thunder mountain the roses the outdoor garden and the raindrops on the trees this tree that you see in front of you started from a little sprig and it's grown like this in just a couple of years. All right, we're back in the bedroom at this point, taking a scan around. Two more very nice large windows that let in lots of light. Then the main thing is this amazing bed with its the soffiting above it and the light shining down on the bed. Feels very European. Most of my artwork in here is from Europe. And I have a thing for Asian things and all things Indonesian. So that is the focus of most of my um, furniture. So now we will go and look. This under that curtain, by the way, that's all shelving. And there's a TV behind there. We hate to look at a TV, but there is one in the bedroom. Now we're going to walk in this beautiful archway that is going to take us into the master bathroom. Very proud of this bathroom. I totally took it apart and redid it as a master bedroom and it, uh, bathroom, and it made the cover of Yava Pie magazine. Quite a few were in contention for that cover, but I won it with this simple little bathroom. Took this very old ancient Chinese chest, took the legs off, found another antique vanity that had a marble top, took the marble top of that, and topped it off with that beautiful salmon colored glass sink then i go around here those wall that wall was used to be an outside wall hence the glass block uh, there's been a room addition built out there now so it is no longer just to the outside has a jetted soaking tub then it had double vanities i will let you know there's one behind there if you want to open the walls up for it again we do not like it. I don't like cleaning too. So I turned it into an art space as opposed to another sink. Then I designed this shower, which I'm very proud of. It's the best shower I've ever had and probably ever will have in life because this uh, wonderful uh, shower door and the way it's designed, you um, literally don't need shower curtains and the water does not get out on the floor. I'll walk in here, give you a little span. It's very nice size, has a built-in as well as a table for all those little spa-like things that you like to scrubby dub with. And, and um, you know, I've even got art in here along with my pro enamel toothpaste. <laughs> okay, and I love glass block, if you can't tell. I love glass block. So, oh, and I love my kitty. There she is, hi, Ruby. <laughs> she has to be in the picture. All right, then you will see where the little um, toilet goes into its own separate little room with, oh, I'll zero in on this. This is the magazine cover of the bathroom that you're looking at. Yabify Magazine Kitchens and Baths Museum Tour. So, so that's kind of a little special thing that you get when you possibly think about either leasing or buying this home i'm going to start out and do a video a day and like i say 
these things. I'm not furnishing this for sale or lease property, but I want you to just get an idea of the magic, the beauty, and what a, what a fabulous place you would have if you rented this place. So I'm going to close for now. This is the Master Bath on Valley View Drive in Sedona. Have a beautiful day. Stay dry. Bye.